This man single-handedly made this country as one of the most favorite destination for Indians to travel and explore. So much so that this country has honored late Yash Chopra by installing his bronze statue, naming a lake after him, running a special train and even a deluxe suite at one of its luxury hotels. In today's video, let us talk about how you can plan your education in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, Switzerland. Hey guys, my name is Saket and today let us talk about studying in Switzerland. Education system, intakes, courses, universities, entry requirements, costs, visas and everything else you will need to know to study in this country. Let us dive straight in. So let us start with the basics. Before we plan to study in Switzerland, there is one thing you should know. That is language of instruction. Switzerland essentially has three languages, German, French and Italian and the language of instruction will depend on where you study. German is the most popular language followed by French and then Italian. Largely saying North, Central and some Southern parts of the country speak German, Eastern parts speaks French and Southern parts speaks Italian. So before you decide where to study, check the language of instruction. Most universities will teach bachelor's programs in either of these three languages and at master's level there are a number of degrees that are taught in English as well and this will be clearly mentioned on the university websites. Bachelor's degrees are usually three years although it may vary and masters are usually one to two years with major masters degrees lasting up to two years. It is possible for Indian applicants to apply for Swiss universities after school and university from India if you're able to meet the entry requirements. The intake is usually September but some institutions may offer January intake as well. Now let's get to universities and courses. Switzerland largely has three categories of institutions and they include universities, universities of applied sciences and some private education institutions. There are 12 universities in the country and they include ETH Zurich, EPFL Lausanne, Universities of Zurich, St. Gallen, Lugano, Luzerne, Lausanne, New Chattel, Geneva, Freiburg, Bern and Basel. Some famous applied sciences universities include Bern University of Applied Sciences, Zurich University of Applied Sciences, University of Applied Sciences Northwestern Switzerland and Luzerne University of Applied Sciences and Arts. There are some well-known private schools in Switzerland as well, such as IMD Business School, Les Rocher and Glein. Both Glein and Les Rocher are rated as top hospitality schools in the world. In terms of courses, there are plenty available. Engineering, Management, Hospitality, Arts and Humanities, Sciences, Computers and IT and so on and so forth. So once you have your course and university shortlisted, let us talk about entry requirements. Swiss universities see intense competition and getting in isn't easy. Good academic scores along with knowledge of language of instruction is also mandatory. Many universities will also ask for IELTS or TOEFL scores, but scores will vary as per the university. Ideally, I would recommend a score of 6.5 to 7 as a great score to apply with. Some really top universities may also take interviews as a part of admissions process and some programs may ask for work experience. You also need SOP, LORs at many universities. There is no single criteria that fits all universities, so it is advisable to check university websites. Now over to costs, and that includes your tuition fee and living costs. The general rule, public universities will be cheaper and private will be expensive. To give you a basic idea, you can expect to set aside 1200 to 2500 francs per semester. That will be around 1.1 to 2.2 lakh rupees for public universities. For private institutions, you can expect to spend 25,000 francs on an average per semester. That's around 22 lakh rupees. Do note that private institutions in Switzerland can be very expensive. Now to living costs. On an average, you can expect to spend 1300 to 1700 francs a month or 1.2 to 1.5 lakh rupees for accommodation, food, transportation, supplies and leisure activities. Cities like Zurich, Geneva and Bern can be a bit more expensive. This amount will also vary as per your lifestyle and spending habits. Yes, you can do part-time jobs as well, but let me get to it in a bit. Great, so now let's talk about visas. To study in Switzerland for more than three months, you will need D-type national visa. Documents required include letter of acceptance from the university, your passport, payment of tuition fee proof, photos, health insurance, sufficient funds in bank account, which is usually 21,000 francs, CV, letter of motivation and written commitment to leave the country after completing your studies. The cost of visa is 88 francs and you will have to get a Swiss resident permit later on, which will cost 160 francs. A visa interview will be usually required by the Swiss embassy. The visa can take any time between 60 to 180 days to process. 
so plan your journey ahead cool now let's talk about part time jobs yes you can work part time in switzerland when you're studying but you have to largely follow two rules rule number 1 the 6 month residency rule so this rule says that you can only work part time if you have lived in switzerland on a student visa for at least 6 months that means you cannot work part time for first 6 months in the country rule number 2 you can work only 15 hours a week during term time however this limit does not apply during vacations but you have to keep the immigration authorities notified the average wage in the country is 18 to 23 francs per hour great now let's talk about post study options so after completing your degree you can apply for a 6 month permit that will allow you to look for a job in the country post getting a job you can apply for another form of resident permit usually a b permit that will allow you to stay and work in switzerland and will be tied to your employer once you stay in the country for 10 years you can apply for a swiss c permit that is a long residence visa hope this video is super helpful for you to plan your move to switzerland the country is not just breathtakingly beautiful but also rated as one of the most happiest safest and innovative countries in the world let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to help see you in the next one